Hey auntie. What's up auntie Ami? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a wash and go, a quick styling video. I hope it's gonna be quick. Um, I'm gonna be using some Aunt Jackie's products. I'm gonna co-wash first using the moisturizing co-wash cleanser called Purify Me. And then I'm going to moisturize and then follow it up with the Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. So I don't know about this elongating part, but we're gonna find a way to elongate my curls because listen, no weapon formed against shrinkage will prosper. That's the truth, that's, that's just the truth. But we'll make a plan, we'll make a way. I don't know if it's just me, but this co-wash kind of looks like baby vomit. Like when you've had, when the baby has just had milk <laughs> and they spit on you, that's what it's like. So, and it actually suds up so quickly. Like, it's so weird. I don't usually use a lot of um, co-washes. I don't often co-wash. So this is like a very strange experience for me because it's like, are you a shampoo or what are you? You're just an imposter. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. So let me know if this is the norm with co-washes. But anyway, um, okay, so I've just rinsed off my hair and it's actually a lot softer. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, yeah, I was a bit scared, I won't lie. So what I'm gonna do is just have my hair still be like really damp like this because as you can see already, my curls are starting to activate, which is a good sign, we like that. So to moisturize, I'm gonna be using Dark and Lovely Au Naturel Butter. I hate, I hate reading the French part, I can't read French. Afro Moisturizing Butter. This is a really good butter, like it's definitely one of my top favorites. It's up there. Mm -hmm. It's dope. Like, I get a good amount, a nice goop of gel and place that on my hair and then start to shingle and then kind of like finger coil a little bit for more definition. But baby, I'm gonna have to take back what I said about the elongating part because it is like when I shingle and leave it, it actually stays stretched a little bit. So that took me back <laughs> a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm eating my words now, like it took me back. But yeah, so when I do then kind of finger coil, they're gonna shrink up again as per normal. So for a more detailed video on how I actually do my wash and goes, you can click the link here or in the description box and you can watch i think i have a whole playlist on wash and goes yeah so if you have time then go ahead and watch the rest of my videos so i may have forgotten to mention that um might want to start off by detangling your hair because I'm doing that per section. I, I didn't, I'm not, oh, I'm lazy today, okay? I confess. <laughs> I'm kind of lazy today and I also don't want to use a comb, so just apply the product and then detangle with your fingers. That way you can also avoid a lot of tangling on, you know, already matted hair, so definitely want to detangle. So like I said, I'm going to take these hair ties and just randomly pick sections of hair and tie them up, trying not to disturb the, the curls. So I'm just going to tie it up at the base. Good morning, aunties. So it's the next day. It actually is the next day. Um, and oh my gosh, my hair isn't dry. Oh no. 
But anyway, it's okay. So the ends are still really defined. But they're also kind of crunchy. So anyway, let me un let me undo these. Let me take them down. <laughs> and then um, we'll see what to do next. Okay, now that's done. <laughs> Um, what I'm going to do now is grab some oil and I'm just going to try and squeeze away the crunch from my ends. Oh my gosh, this is just going to defeat the whole purpose. Like me stretching my hair in the first place was for my hair to not shrink as much but my roots are still very, my roots are wet. So I'm just gonna grab my um, handheld um, paddle brush blower and just stretch the hair and do like the tension method on my roots only. So I'm just gonna crunch, I'm just gonna grab the ends and then pull so that the ends don't get disturbed. And yeah, and just dry that part out, not too much. Because I'm going to fluff. Okay, so now I'm going to fluff my hair. Okay, so this is the final look. My finished result. And it's actually quite cute. <laughs> I kind of, I was able to salvage the situation. Although I made a lot of mistakes. First being, um, my hair is dry. I won't even lie to you. My hair is dry. The co-wash didn't replenish any moisture. Um... And then after I was done, I used the um, dark and lovely butter, and uh, that was that was another big mistake. Because I have low porosity hair, I didn't use any leave-in, I didn't use any type of moisturizer. I just thought that since I just washed my hair and my hair was dripping wet, the butter would be a sealant on that water that was there on my hair already. But um, clearly, I needed a leave-in which kind of sucks because all this time i didn't appreciate leave-ins now i do i really do okay <laughs> and um then the gel is very <laughs> Woo! it's kind of strong okay it's it's actually kind of strong but after putting some oil it's kind of softened up softened out the the crunch so, and it left the definition, which I'm very happy about. Oh, oh, oh. Like, it's really cute. I really like this wash and go. Like, I think I'm getting, like, better and better at it, although I'm making mistakes, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this wash and go. Um, I'm kind of seeing some growth in my hair. Or maybe it's a stretch. I don't know. Deception, deception. So yeah, and then another mistake, obviously my hair didn't dry, no surprise there, I should have known better. Honestly, I did this, it's been 24 hours, I did this yesterday morning and it's still not dry. So I had to do the tension method, I'm going to leave my house now and I'm sure by the time I come home it should be dry now that it's out there. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up because it also helps me to like reach other people and then they can watch my videos. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel and click on the bell. Click on the bell so then every time I drop a video, you get an alert and you know I have dropped a video. So I will see you in my next video. I'm going to leave other videos for you to watch right here. And yeah, I'll see you then. Are you watching? Click. Click. <laughs> Bye.